and she's got a lot of cool stories. I've, I've heard a lot of them, <laughs> and she she never stops to sur surprise me with her stories, and I'm so excited to be talking to her on this podcast finally. I've never wanted to teach. I've never wanted like to be a guide, uh -huh. and uh, I've never wanted to be someone. Can we can we destroy that <laughs> before it sees the face of the internet? I don't want that to see the face of the internet. But of light. but I really want people like to see it. Isn't that super awkward when someone nearly your age calls you mom? <laughs> um, imagine imagine me calling Miss uh, Markaba mom. <laughs> the day before my exam, there was a mock like you conducted you conducted the mock test. And I got like listening 23 and reading 18. Not healthy. Do not stay at work until 2 o'clock in the morning unless you want to end up like me, nearly bald. Someone literally commented on that yes. last time I dropped the trailer. Someone said that, what's happening to this guy's hair? Uh, we had a deal with you. If I'm, if I'm going to get 8, that's it. We're going to go on a mountain trip. If we get 60 comments saying we want to see the editor on the podcast, we might make it happen. I have never wanted to study, and that's why like, I'm the best cheater. <laughs> I mean it. I, I know when students cheat, literally. Yes, exactly. You only think I'm rich when I'm at school, at work, because that's where all the money goes. Uh, I like like reading books mm -hmm. uh, because my mom is a psychologist. Yes, and we have like our our own library. Because you sent me a list of the extracurriculars you've done, right? Mm -hmm. And I went through all this, but I think you forgot to mention a really important one, and that's your Ed Inspired project. And then I found the message where I've written. Well, it was message for you, Muhammad Ali teacher. I will show you that I deserve. I deserve like to be part of like your team, and I will show the, the world like who is Rachel. Something in you lit up heaven and me, <laughs> and the feeling won't let me to. Oh, we already started recording. It did. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like we're live. So you, the guy usually says one, two, three, action, and then we start shooting. Hey folks, hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Industrial Muse. I'm your host, Muhammad Ali here. Uh, on today's episode, I'm going to be talking to one of the, uh, one of the amazing, brilliant um, staff members, team members of the school. And I've been wanting to talk to this person, this lady, for so long. She's got a lot of cool stories. I've heard a lot of them, <laughs> and she, she never stops to sur surprise me with her stories, and I'm so excited to be talking to her on this podcast finally, and I want you guys to also hear from her. So if, you're, if you want to find out about this person, please keep watching. All right, guys, it's now time to meet our guest, Miss Parazit, Par 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 <laughs> I am really sorry, Parizada, Parizada. yes, Miss Parizada. <laughs> The reason why I'm having a hard time pronouncing her name is because usually she goes by the name Ada Rachel. Everyone calls her Ada Rachel. Not and you. Uh, yeah. You always call me Parizoda. But Pari for some reason, I'm having, I'm stuttering. <laughs> I'm stuttering. I'm sorry. Because you, because you always you, uh, like called me uh, Parvina. Yes. Y yes. Yeah, that's the main That reason. explains it. So uh, I'm having a hard time pronouncing her name because I uh, literally never use it. I mistakenly call her Parvina or by her nickname, which is Ada Rachel. Yeah, no, you never called me. You have never called me Ada Rachel. You know, this is the first time when you're calling me. And every time when you called me Ada Rachel, you used to scold me. And I I literally screwed it up. Yes. <laughs> I did. So I did. we can start over, no. No, 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 no. no. We, you see, this is the part of the podcast where you guys should know we shot, shoot everything in one go, okay? There are no take twos, take threes, only one take, okay? All right, so would you like to tell our audience a little about yourself, Ms. Paro? Paro, um, Paro, Paro. Parizoda, okay, Paris, I'm going to introduce Parizoda, myself. Parizoda, yes. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, so, guys. Um, hello, everyone. Hello, the world. Uh, my name is, uh, my nickname is Ada Rachel, but my real name is Parizoda Jurakulova. Miss Paro. You can just call me Pari, that's it. Pari, yes, Miss Pari. I prefer that. That's a lot easier. Okay, just rolls off, rolls off the tongue. I, yeah. Would you, would you like to tell our audience a little more about yourself other than your name, like your occupation and maybe, maybe a little about your major, about your studies? 
Uh, right. Well, um, I'm studying, as, uh, I'm a second year student at Bukhara State University and I'm majoring English Philology mm -hmm. and I'm working as an IELTS instructor in, in a Dastra school and I've started like uh, guiding. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have? Yes, I've already started it. You d so you were doing a program on guiding, right? Uh, yes. So how did it go? Um, basically, I studied like for about a year, mm -hmm. and uh, I've grasped and like history part, like uh, literally everything that guiding mm -hmm. uh, requires. And uh, like I've recently taken my I've recently taken my exam, and uh, I'm waiting for the results now. And uh, like I'm working. I mean, how to say? I'm gaining experience now on how to guide, like taking tours with like uh, guides and like seeing the process. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So, but you're not technically a guide yet, um, are you? Because um, you're supposed to have some kind of a license to be a guide, right? Or can yes. you just, if I right now were to go to the old city and introduce to people myself as a guy, guide, offer them guides, would I get in trouble with the police? I don't know to be honest. <laughs> that, uh, you should, like should, basically, should, like should try uh, it. Mm -hmm, sure, I will try it. Yeah. We can do it together. Uh, no, I'm, but like people no, are gonna think that you are a foreign, not like from Bukhara. Mm -hmm. Why because is that? like because it depends because they get to know it mm -hmm. uh, from the way that you speak, the, mm -hmm. the way that you behave yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I'm the most Uzbek guy ever. No, I'm not. No, you no, would no. not say that. No. <laughs> okay, right. So you said you started, why did you decide to take up guiding? You're not happy with teaching? Um, no. Um, you know what? I've never wanted to teach. I've never wanted like to be a guide. Uh -huh. And uh, I've never wanted to be someone. The main reason uh, for me, like being a teacher and, uh, and, and guide is my mother. Basically, like, you know, like I even cried. I, I, I told my mom, well, mom, I'm not going to go to guiding. I'm not going to guide. I, I'm not, I'm not going to be guiding people. And she was like, no, you will go there and like you will start taking classes. And anyway, like you will thank me for that. What a strict mom. Um, no, she's not strict. Uh, basically, she knows that I'm lazy. <laughs> so, like, because, it, uh, like, this was the case. So, if it was, wasn't for uh, my mom? So, if it wasn't for my mom, I wouldn't be teaching, yes, and I wouldn't be, like, uh, studying English at all. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you let your mom make all the calls, make um, all the decisions you. know, for you. I've always wanted freedom. Mm -hmm. And I've never studied, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I... I, I was a rebellious one, let's say, mm -hmm. and uh, are. yes, and every time when I like used to start, and every time when I started like taking classes, mm -hmm. I always got expelled. <laughs> yes, I've studied like let's say in every school of Bukhara. Yeah, yeah. and every time my teachers like used, used to expel me. That's it. Except one time when you were in me and Alicia's class. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you know the main reason why I study, I, I, why I studied with you, even though like I tried everything, like I did everything for you, like uh, to expel me, literally. Uh, can you remember the times when I used to study with you and I like used to do crazy stuff? For example, with my, uh, with my course mates, yes, uh -huh. and the intrigues, the conflicts we uh -huh. had, and everything was done in order for you to expel me. So you, you did all those things just to piss me off. Yes, right. <laughs> but it didn't work though. I didn't work. <laughs> I am shocked. Yeah. I am like, I'm speechless. And like, sometimes I wonder like, what am I doing here? Uh -huh. You were like, you, you had to, you, you were supposed to like expel me and like, you were supposed to not to teach me. I'm, I'm just uh, good at, I guess, putting up with people, with putting up with people's crap nonsense. I, I feel like I've been doing it my entire life. <laughs> Uh, plus, I think I, I, I was mature enough to realize that you were just a kid, right? And I just let you be, which is what I usually do in my class. This is not to say I let my students get away with uh, bad behavior, right? Acting reckless, right? Or pulling prank, pranks on their teachers or their, or their friends, right? <laughs> but at the same time, I try to be understanding. I, I just know they're kids. I used to be a kid myself. And I hated those people who dictated 
rules and told me how, how to sit or how to stand, how to walk and all those things. You know, kids are all rebellious by nature. So I'm, I'm accustomed to that. So I wasn't honestly surprised. You were just another st rebellious student I had to put up with. But I was a special one, by the way. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> what like, makes you think that? Uh, because I was the first one who created GIF of yours, like that. That's all around, like the internet, yes. and stickers of yours. Yes, that's why. And I think that I am the special one. Well, sure. I guess if you could. Yes, you you were actually one of the first people to create uh, gifs and stickers with me. I cannot say though they're hilarious, but. They're like photos I never had, but I wish I took. <laughs> so you were, in that sense, my personal photographer yes. <laughs> that entire time, right? So would you like to tell us a little about your upbringing as well, right? A little more about your upbringing. So you, what kind of school did you go to and uh, what were you like in high school, right? Right then like uh, you know and then my, my brother yeah. like uh, he got older and he had to like start uh, he had to go to, like to the kindergarten mm -hmm. so like when you say brother are you talking about that little guy behind the camera here yes uh, his name is Muhammad Aziz Muhammad Aziz yeah yes my student my brother uh -huh. yes my child let's say yeah um, yeah I mean it when I say my child so uh -huh. basically like um, my school and his kindergarten, like it was located nearby, so that's why I always had to take care of him. Mm -hmm. And uh, for four years, no, how, how many years like do you go to the kindergarten? Four years? Okay, I, I, I don't know, like maybe for four years, let's mm -hmm. say. I cannot remember. So like for four years, uh, I have been like taking care of him, mm -hmm. and it was the time for him like to go to school, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, like I even cried to my mom. I was like, mom, I'm sorry, but I'm not responsible for him. Mm -hmm. So like this is your child and take care of him. Mm -hmm. I literally said it because I was literally fed up. I had to take care of him. Like, I mean, wait when he's uh, like w when his classes, I mean, like when, when he finished. So like, you'd have to go and pick him up from preschool yes. and uh, take have him, him like to his other courses. At that uh -huh. time, he used to go like and he used to take like uh, courses like for uh, for for like those kids, mm -hmm. uh, like um, the ones that help him like to get into the school, like mm -hmm. how to write and like math and so on and so on. And that's why he's intelligent now. Uh -huh. I mean, like... Um, yeah, so Mr. Muhammad Aziz owes some of his success to your hard work. Of course. Right? Uh, okay. Yeah, and um, that's why it was hard for me, like, uh, to live my own life, life let's say. Because uh, I was going, uh, like, uh, because I didn't, had, I, I have never had a chance, like, to go out and, like, play with kids outside. Mm -hmm. Because my mom was always, like, my mom always wanted us, like, to study. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I had to take care of him as well. And so how uh, old were you at the time? Mm -hmm. How old were you at the time? I don't know. I went to school at the time. Like, b basically, I went to school when I was five years old. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So you've been taking care care of your young brother so since you were five? Like, no, well, when I was like in fourth, fourth grade, I guess. Mm -hmm. Fourth grade, so, fourth or fifth grade. So when in your early teenage years. Yes, in my early teenage years. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and you're 17 now, right? Yes, I am 17 now. 17. So that's nearly six, seven years. So you've been acting as a mom to your young brother for the yes. past six, seven years. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So how does it feel being a mom without being a mom? Oh, like, you know, <laughs> I'm a mom not for only him, uh -huh. but for my students as well. Yeah. They literally call me mom. Uh -huh. And like, I cannot, like, you know, in every, for example, I have like, four, I used to have 14 children. Yes. Uh, -huh. uh No. I cannot even count how many children do I have. Are you... Oh. We'll get to that part okay, later. Sure. Okay, let's talk. So, let's yes, finish that well, story first. So basically, I had to take care of him, mm -hmm. and uh, you know what? Um, what I was talking about. You were talking about you taking care of your brother. Yeah, I, I used to take care of my brother. Oh. Yes, and this this was uh, my, my childhood, let's say. Mm -hmm. But but you know we. I, I, I used to go out and play with kids, but like those kids, they were all boys. 
all boys, but that's why I guess like my mom didn't allow me like to go out and play with the boys. Uh huh. And um, what else? So you grew up playing with boys in the playground. Yeah. Let's. How did that affect you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess you know with yourself. Uh, not exactly. Uh, no. From my actions in here, you know. Mm, well, uh, well, I guess like. Did it, I, I feel like it, it it had a positive. Positive. Uh, impact on your personality overall you seem more assertive you, you seem more confident and outgoing hmm. i never see you have a hard time getting along with other people like, yeah yeah and i guess like this was the main reason yeah because like uh i don't know but let's the, say I, this, it's like magic it, uh -huh. it works like magic is it to say though teenage girls should spend more time hanging no. out with boys no 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 that's no, not to no, say no. that right? no 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 I don't mean it. Yeah, she doesn't mean that. <laughs> I just some, meant some, that like... Some, some people might get the wrong idea and think, I'm if I want to be outgoing, that. assertive, confident like this lady, then I got to go and hang out with boys. No, never, guys. Never. N ladies. Ladies, yes. yes so ladies. what I meant by that is that uh, basically like there are a lot of guys, mm -hmm. yes, and... Um, and I and my mom and me guys as well in your, in your neighborhood. Yes, in my neighborhood, uh -huh. and that's why I guess like my mom didn't want me like to hang out with them mm -hmm. because it it would have like mm -hmm. uh, like negative impact on mm -hmm. me. So yes, and that's why like I had to study, mm -hmm. and uh, from I guess so from at an early age my mom. You didn't have any. F sorry for cutting you short. Mm -hmm. You didn't have any female friends at the time. No, I had, but uh -huh. they, so they, they they were not a lot a lot of them. Oh, okay, they were not allowed to go outside. I cannot remember, to be honest, mm -hmm. because most of our neighbors, they are old. Oh, okay. And sure. I can remember, like, boys being there, but girls as well, but a lot more boys than girls. Uh -huh. And you decided to go and hang out with boys than girls. I'm not telling <laughs> that I'm, I was hanging out with boys. <laughs> but you said Teacher. you played with them, right? No, okay. I'm not. Okay, sure. Teacher. Sure. I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. And then, and then what happened? Yeah, we can skip this part. Yeah, but we're I not. Forgot, like, but we're not cutting it, okay? This part is saying for you guys to see. Now, moving on. So, I've never hung out. Hey, so, <laughs> teacher, uh, like then, I'm feeling awkward right now. It's okay. I Do you know how many people are gonna watch it? Uh, probably a gazillion. I don't care. <laughs> sure. I'm sorry if I made her blush. We can carry on. We can. We can. Talk about the... So, yes. yes. And uh, my mom was, always wanted me like to study English. Uh -huh. And my sister, she had a passion for it as well. Uh -huh. And uh, let's say I've never done any work at home. Mm -hmm. uh, it was my sister's uh, responsibility. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, and then like... So that, that sounds pretty fair, honestly. Mm -hmm. So division of labor. So you're responsible for your young brother and your sister is responsible for housework. While mom is away... Mm -hmm. Feeding the family. Um, right. So basically, as I told you before, mm -hmm. as I mentioned mentioned about, I'm a lazy person, and I've always been. Mm -hmm. You so, still are. Yeah. So that's why I, I it, it was like let's say planned. I uh -huh. had to take care of my brothers, so my sister would like mm -hmm. do all the uh, household chores. Mm -hmm. Let's say. Yeah, that is that is a smart arrangement. I, I might actually do it with my own kids one day. Like if I have many kids, I'm gonna have one of them. Uh, do the cleaning stuff. One of them take care of their younger siblings. One of them uh, do. Uh, <laughs> and know, that's that, okay, that's sure. division of labor, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. That's very much how companies work, right? You have different people with different roles, positions, titles, right? Mm -hmm. And you sort of replicate that in family environment. Sure. Uh, can I tell about my first day at school? Because this one is the most interesting. And this day, like, I remember, uh, like, and I remember all of this day of my, like, early, like, school days. So, basically, it was my first day, yes. And uh, there was one neighbor of, our, uh, of, of ours, like, his name was Timur. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, we, uh, and, and then... I was late for the school, like mm -hmm. to get in, enrolled in school, yes. And I went like on the, uh, on the 6th of September, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I was late for the school and everyone like got their like, let's say boxes. I mean like, uh, how to say bags, like school mm -hmm. bags they uh, like the, that the government provides, yes. And I was late for it and everyone like had their own seats. And, uh, you know... I used to be a short one at that time, and all of my classmates, all of them were tall. Mm -hmm. And my teacher placed me, like, on the last row. Mm -hmm. I was sitting in the last row. 
and then uh, as I as, like as I mentioned to you about, like, uh, like he, my neighbor's, uh, my neighbor's name was Timurias, and uh, I, and then we decided like to go and uh, like to go to cafeteria in order to eat something. Uh, so basically, on our way back, uh, we decided like to run, like who, like to, to have a race and mm -hmm. see who's gonna be first, who's gonna get like to the uh, to the class first. Mm -hmm. So basically, like we were running. And suddenly he disappeared. <laughs> I mean it, he disappeared. Yeah. And then I saw like, uh, and, and I didn't Do know. You mean say like he ran so fast that it, he he disappeared. Okay, let, you couldn't let, see let's them see anymore. This. Is that but, what, is that what you mean? Yes. Yeah. B basically, what I mean is uh, what I mean is. Um, um, or we were running, yes, uh -huh. and he suddenly disappeared. This, this is what I can remember, and I was a child at the time, yes, mm -hmm. and, and these are childhood memories. And then I thought to myself, and, and then I like I saw like the classroom, mm -hmm. and I didn't know how to read, and how, and how how to read. So that's why like I just saw like number one, mm -hmm. and I got into that classroom, and like you know I went there and I got into like the classroom, and the settings are different. Mm -hmm. literally the settings are different and like that like the the classroom that i got in mm -hmm. it was like dark yes mm -hmm. and people were different as well mm -hmm. and then i went like to the last row mm -hmm. and uh, somehow like teacher came and like when teacher comes all of us have to stand up mm -hmm. and uh, uh so everyone stood up and i was there and i saw a boy like sitting in my place and i was like so stand up and he mm -hmm. said no and you know what i did uh, like there was uh, like let's say uh, something metal, metal made of metal, and I got it, and I started hitting that boy. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. Be because he was sitting on my place. What happened then? Uh, he started bleeding, <laughs> and then uh, he started bleeding, and then the teacher like heard mm -hmm. noise, uh -huh. and she came, and I and, and I like saw that teacher is not mine, uh -huh. you know. That teacher was not mine, and then like it hit me mm -hmm. that I'm like uh, I'm in in the wrong place, and then I started crying. Oh my god! Yeah. This this lady, <laughs> this lady, hangs out hangs out with boys. I don't hang out, and teacher. Plus, plus she's a big bully. <laughs> no, just kidding, just kidding. Anyway, so that that was your first day at school. Yeah, this this was my first day at school, and this uh, like this. this this is the thing that I remember. Did, did you get grounded for that? Did your teacher do anything about it? Uh, yes, called she called police? my mom. Uh -huh. And basically she complained about me. And then, like, basically I was a kid mm -hmm. for the first time. Yeah. And, yeah, that's it. Uh, but, I mean, I think it seems serious when someone, a kid starts bleeding, right? Yes. I'm guessing there must have been... I'm, I'm guessing the uh, other, like the, he, he the, was bleeding, but kids. not severely. Yeah, I'm he was guessing. bleeding, but not severely. Let's see. Because if I was the other kid's mom or dad, I'd be pissed. I'd be seriously pissed. So I cannot remember what happened. The rest. Yeah. The rest I cannot. Yeah, probably because your parents, when had to have this conversation, had to. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> right. You talked about your childhood. And your school life. Mm -hmm. When did you start learning English? At what age you decided? Since I know to? myself. Yeah. Since I know myself, like literally, um, um, from from I guess like second or like third grade, mm -hmm. um, uh, we we used to take like English classes, and uh, and like there was a like woman who used to come to our school, uh, like uh, to our home, in order to teach us. Mm -hmm. And this was the first time, and you know, like so you we had a private tutor. Yes, we had a private tutor, and uh, after that, like uh, my mom, like found like many schools, uh, like in Bukhara, and uh, like private tutors as well who teach. But I, I never liked them. I don't know, mm -hmm. like they, they, all of them like were nice, and uh, let's say all of them like knew English, but I don't know. I, I, I never liked them. Maybe because like all of them were strict, let's say, and I've never wanted like, um, and I've never wanted like someone uh, to to tell me what to do. Let's mm -hmm. say, yeah. Right. And then, uh, how did you end up with us? 
Oh, how, that's yeah, the long how did story. You end up, yeah, how did you end up in me and Alicia's so, group? So, before that, like, uh, I can't remember, we went, like, uh, to, to, to the youth to, to the Youth Union of Uzbekistan, and uh, I was a leader there, a leader, and uh, somehow we found out about you. Uh, actually, you know what? Um, we went like to Millennium, like uh, English Learning Center, and my sister, she was studying with Alicia teacher, and uh, he was like the first person like who got aid, and uh, like I've always wanted to study with him as well. Uh, for the first time when I saw him, I was impressed. I was like, wow, he's so young and he has eight. And after that, like um, my teacher, again, like she expelled me. Um, after some time, I didn't, I, I, I didn't attend any classes. I have never taken courses, yes, but after some time, my mom, my mom made me study again. Uh, you know, I even cried. I was like, I'm not going to go there anymore. I'm not going to take any classes. But she told me, I don't care whether you like it, whether you don't like it, you're going to go and study there. And at that time, my, my sister, she got seven. Uh-huh. Um, so my sister, like she has, she has, she had taken her exam and she already had seven, and I started like taking uh, like English classes again, and my teacher expelled me again, and somehow I ended up like being in in your uh, in your classes. At that time, it, like it wasn't actually you who got expelled; it was the entire group. Your entire group got expelled. Oh uh, really? <laughs> yeah. I just didn't attend. Uh, and then the and then the head teacher came to us asking a favor, I guess. Well, he was wondering if we could do something about your group. Yeah. So I I hadn't uh, like uh, attend I I hadn't attend like your I didn't attend like your first classes because um, at that time like I was uh, I was at the hospital. Hey, and then he went like, "What are you doing here?" I was like, and then you. And, and then you started speaking that well she's uh, Parizoda mm -hmm. and like she's our uh, and she's our student mm -hmm. and then Alicia teacher told me that if I'm gonna skip one class mm -hmm. that's it I'm getting expelled mm -hmm. and at that time it like it, it was a trial period yes mm -hmm. and then like I don't know uh, I started like taking classes with you and uh, we had our our, mock, our first mock test and at that time I got like the first place I was like shocked I was like wow I can make it mm -hmm. I can be first uh -huh. And then, like the classes went on, and, um, and 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 classes went on, and I don't know, like there was something about you, like okay, I I guess it was like the something freedom that you in made. you lit up heaven and me, <laughs> and the feeling won't let me to. That's Dua Lipa. <laughs> no, I don't okay. listen to her. Yeah. So, what I was talking about? Okay. Yeah, you're saying something in me. So yes. <laughs> I was so I was telling about like the yeah the atmosphere of the group and uh, and 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 you know what I could feel it because uh, because because you know uh, when you like compared our results mm -hmm. and the results of like other students ours f was always like the last one. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, like, you never gave up on us. And every time when Alicia teacher wanted to expel or wanted, like, to scare us, like, mm -hmm. telling that if you, if we don't study, then we're getting expelled, mm -hmm. then you always, like, was siding with us. So, basically, you were supporting. And, uh, yeah, I, I guess, like, it was your love and, like, support mm -hmm. that that helped me, like, to, to stay in here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, in your classes, in Alicia teachers, in your classes, I, I was very... Okay, so let's say I didn't. Uh, I was very free. I could express myself, and uh, well, this was the main reason, I guess. Yeah. And how did your? How did your? You got seven point five in your first attempt, right? No, I got seven. Uh -huh. and then I, I I got seven. I can remember it was my first attempt, and I and I took like CDI, mm -hmm. and uh, it was in Tashkent. I was so nervous. I can remember my first, um, my like it was speaking exam first. I can remember after speaking, I, I was calling to Alicia teacher, mm -hmm. and I was like all crying. Mm -hmm. And then Alicia teacher was like, Rachel, like mm -hmm. tomorrow is like the main exam. Mm -hmm. Do something about it. And you know what? Before my exam, the day before my exam, there was a mock. Like you conducted, you conducted the mock test. 
And I got like listening 23 and reading 18. 18. 18. Yeah. Can you imagine it? Been... Like tomorrow is my exam and I'm getting like the, like the score. Mm -hmm. I was so nervous. Like I was so depressed. Like I can remember at that, uh, like it was Sunday. Yes. Uh, Sunday night I spent there. You were there as well. It was me, you and janitor. That's it. No one at school. It was like basement. And I was sitting there and I was like working. I was like, no, I ha I must get like eight. Mm -hmm. I like, you know, I trained myself, but I ended up like with seven. And in my second attempt. Which is not bad. I mean, for you were 15 at the time, weren't you? But no, it, it was never enough for me. Yeah. I wanted like to prove like to you and like to, 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 uh, to me, like I, I wanted like to prove myself as well that I'm capable of doing something. But yeah. yeah. Well, it's common for teenagers to think that to make their teachers proud or to to earn their to earn their approval, they have to get an impressive score, but you are more than a score, which is something I always tell students, yeah. And I wanted like to come back, but you didn't allow me. I can remember Alicia teacher not allowing me. And can you remember, uh, we had a deal with you. If I'm if I'm gonna get eight, that's it. We're gonna go on a mountain trip. Uh, and I did like everything in order to get. That eight. was not a mountain trip. That was just a picnic. And I told you you could bring five of your friends. Not five, eight. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, but not a mountain trip. It was just a picnic. And like okay. you know, it was your fault that I got seven. Uh huh. Because you pushed me and like uh, it you was unnecessary pressure. Yes. Okay, but if it wasn't for that deal, you wouldn't have tried hard. You wouldn't have pushed yourself. Yeah. So then maybe that deal is the reason why you got seven. Maybe you might have got six point five if no. it wasn't for that deal. No. Okay. Sure. Uh -huh. And then like uh, I decided like to come back, and second time I got seven and a half as well. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your time here at, at Astra. What, 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 what was it like joining the team? Ah, oh, joining the team. Yeah. You have always mocked me. Can you remember? Like, I really want, uh, when I found, so basically, I, I live nearby, yes? And then uh, once I was like passing by, and then I saw like, uh, like the head teacher of Millennium here. Mm -hmm. and then I was like wondering, okay, what is he doing here? Mm -hmm. And then like somehow I found out that like they are like opening another campus here. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then like, you know, rumors. Mm -hmm. Rumors, gossips. Like wildfire. Yes. Yeah. And uh, well, I found out about it and I've never wanted like to leave your team. Mm -hmm. And that's why I, I went to, I was like, so teacher, I'm going to work with you. Mm -hmm. And you said no. Mm -hmm. And I can remember, like, uh, wh when when I said it, like, uh, you even, I even conducted one of your reading classes. It was in this room, in 101. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I, I was sitting in your place, and but you were sitting. I was present in the class, though. Yes. I didn't leave. I was yeah. there. You were there, and you were sitting, like, on the ground. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I it. even have, like, video of him. If you want, like, I can send you guys. It's, it's just a gift, or is it a video? Like, it is a video. Yeah. Like, basically, in order to make a GIF, you yeah. firstly, you have to take a video, oh, teacher. Right, 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 right. Can we, can we destroy that <laughs> before it sees the face of the internet? I don't want that to see the face of the internet. But, of but I really want people, like, to mm -hmm. see it. Because it was my first time conducting a class. Uh -huh. And when I saw you, like, sitting, like, on the ground, uh -huh. and me on your place... Uh -huh. Like, you know, it was like huge, uh, like responsibility. Uh -huh. And I literally felt that like all of the students looking at me, like, and I had to like answer like to their reading questions, their eyes, you know, mm -hmm. all of them, like all of the eyes, like they were sparking and like they, w and they were waiting for the answers, like, mm -hmm. you know. And that feeling, I don't know how to explain it. Like Overwhelming. You feel overwhelmed when you have okay, all sure. eyes on you. Yeah. And people w expect you to say something, mm -hmm. usually something smart. That makes it even more intense. And right? But it, you, it you're not that great. smart, right? <laughs> no, I mean, in general. So when people expect mm -hmm. you to say something, especially something smart, mm -hmm. but you think to yourself, well, I'm not actually that smart. That yeah. So feeling, feelings overtake. Right. You get a little carried away, right? Mm -hmm. And you start stuttering, mumbling, right? Anxiety. So it's natural. 
right? But I guess mm. you didn't do bad for your first day. Mm, no, I guess. It, it, it was good for the first that's, time. That's actually what I usually do when I uh, see a student disconnected from class. I make them the center of the class. That's sort of a teaching strategy. So you see a student disassociated, make them the center. Put them in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. right. It was the first time me teaching. And when I joined the... Actually, I was the part of the team. Mm -hmm. I was like uh, working as a like as a receptionist, if you can remember. Before you start working yes. as a receptionist, you were working as a janitor. <laughs> only for one day, though. If you remember the day before we moved in, she was the only lady who showed up to help us clean up this place the, the day before we moved in. Yes. The only lady. So you were doing all the wiping and cleaning, and we had a little chat in 101. Mm -hmm. I showed you my T-shirt I got yes. it as a gift from Alicia. Yes. With Batman logo on it. Teacher, you can remember everything. Of course. But every time when I ask you something, you're like, uh, oh, I cannot remember. I have no clue. No, I'm, I'm just pretending. Because <laughs> I, know, I know if I say I do remember and I tell the whole story, we end up chatting for, I don't know, an hour, but I don't really have time for that. But now we do. Now we do. Okay, sure. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to be talking a lot today. Then. Sure, sure, yeah. No, I got nowhere else to be, so... Mm -hmm. And yeah, I was working as a receptionist mm -hmm. and then I had to like take a break and work in other places as a teacher in order to gain experience. Mm -hmm. And then I can remember like coming to you mm -hmm. and we had a conversation in in, in principal PO. office, like in PO. And um, I like, you know, it was the first time. Uh -huh. no, no, Okay, so it was the first time when I literally asked something from you. I was like, teacher, do uh -huh. something. I was like so determined. I was like, I don't care. I will do anything that you want in order to work here. Uh -huh. And you were like, what? Like, you know, I, I can't even like, can't remember. Like, and when I'm telling you, uh -huh. I can feel those emotions again. Yeah. Like, it was the first time when I had like uh, adult conversation with you. And it felt like over overwhelming, as you said. Mm. But you got the job. Yes, I got a job. I was waiting for it like for two weeks. Uh -huh. uh, Muhammad Ali teacher told me like to wait. Uh, he will uh, like, because he told me like to wait for three days in order like to talk to Alicia teacher. Yes, and then he will say the answer. But then I ended up like wait, uh, waiting for two weeks, and I was like, and I was nervous, and I like texted him, teacher, what's your answer? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And he was like, wow. Mm -hmm. And then like you shared me. Uh, like um, the details mm -hmm. of when I have to start and that I that I have to like uh, come for the teacher training here, yeah. Yeah. Plus, at the time, I guess I didn't have a partner for you because all teachers no, here we, have a, have a partner. At the time, though, you didn't. I didn't have one for you, so I had to wait until uh, someone else showed up looking for a job, and that mm -hmm. person happened to be Mr. Parvis. Yeah, all these things coincided, right? Yes, coincided. For a job. And your first group was PI-15, I guess. PI-15. IF-15. IF-15, yes. Then, we started with teaching IF. Mm -hmm. Right. And one of the students there got overall eight, I guess. Yes, the first student. Ms. Shahrizada or yes. something. And her like, a brother studies with me as well. Right in now? P yes, in PFB, mm -hmm. 21. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, speaking of working at Ad Astra, right, what are the expectations you had joining the team and uh, <laughs> how did it turn out? How things are in reality? To be honest, I have never had uh, like expectations. I just, the only thing that I wanted mm -hmm. is like being here, that's it. Mm -hmm. Working here in this environment mm -hmm. where everyone can understand each other mm -hmm. and where, where, where I can like express myself, you know? Mm -hmm. Where, where I can do like crazy stuff and no one can judge me for that. Except for Alicia. <laughs> you oh. left that part out, okay? Yes. So he's not going to watch this podcast anyway. So no, he's going to watch it. No, no, he's not going to watch no, it. No, he will watch it. We'll just put a misleading 
chapter, okay, title. But you know, I'm very grateful for him as well, uh-huh. because I can remember like in our meetings, like he he used to like show like the videos mm-hmm. uh, of my classes in every single meeting, you know. Mm-hmm. And I was I, and I was like so done that I mm-hmm. always like waited. I was like, so this is my turn right mm-hmm. now. And I've always like waited, mm-hmm. and I guess like he he was the main reason like and he and and I, and I and I have to be like very thankful to him, because uh, if he didn't at that time, like uh, l- let's say scold me for the way that my students were behaving, mm-hmm. I don't know like it it would be like chaos let's say. Mm-hmm. I still have those videos mm-hmm. in my saved messages. Sometimes I go there and like I watch them, and you know all of those classes were with my brother. Mm-hmm. I mean, like uh, it was uh, IF2. T- IF yeah. But I guess like uh, there was a reason for that, for the way like they were behaving mm-hmm. because they were 24, 24 to seven here. Can you remember like uh, I've started, like we had like IB groups at that time mm-hmm. and then like they got promoted like to IF, uh, IELTS Foundation. And I can remember the first class I had to teach their reading class, yes? Mm-hmm. And then, and then first class, none of them were ready. Uh huh. And then I started like asking questions, and they were like, "Teacher, it was like it's like uh, too difficult for us." Mm-hmm. The thing that I did, like, I just came to you, and I, I and, and then I asked you, "So, teacher, what can I do?" Mm-hmm. Uh, you told me like, get them to do only one passage. Do it with you, like they must do it with you, mm-hmm. and then like you have to explain every single like uh, sentence to them, and every single question, so as like they will understand it. And then like I started doing it. Uh, basically, like there were times when we stayed here like till two o'clock at night. I guess in the morning. No, two o'clock night. in the morning. It's in the morning. It's two in the o'clock. morning. Two yes, in the morning. It- are you? That is not possible because I usually lock the place before. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, at that time, like we, we stayed here, mm-hmm. and you used to stay here till two as well. Yeah, for, for real. Every, yes. Not healthy to not stay at work until two o'clock in the morning, unless you want to end up like me, mm-hmm. nearly bald. Someone literally commented on that yes. last time I dropped the trailer. <laughs> Someone said that what's happening to this guy's hair? All right, I'm getting old, old guys. It's not really about, I guess, teaching, or. Uh, do you seriously think my hair looks bad? Yes. It does? I, I can see, like, the holes. You mean, like, the patches? Guys, please, someone get me a hat. I feel so insecure right now. I guess you can give yours. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm mm-hmm. good. Sure. Never mind. It's called hair thinning. So this, uh, I guess it's n- natural thing to happen as you grow older, right? But you're not old. I'm not. Am I? I feel, I'm not that old. Okay. Or you are. I don't know, Granny, a granddad. I, I just need a good night's sleep. That's all I need. Yeah, sure. and I'm going to be fine. So what happened then? Uh, so basically, like, uh, and then, like, they, their class was eight, at 8 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had to sleep for, for six hours, no, for less than five, hour, mm-hmm. five hours, I guess. And then, again, we did, like, the same stuff again with them. But this time, they were the ones, like, the, that, uh, that explained me. Mm-hmm. So that's why, like, every day, one passage from the morning till night. Mm-hmm. That's it. One passage again and again. I explained them, and they explained me. Mm-hmm. And this is how it went. And did it work? Of course it did. So what were the, what were the results like? Okay. Um, basically, like, you know, I really like IF program. Because, mm-hmm. like, in IF program... Oh, by the way, it's the program I wrote, I designed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I just... Sure. Credit should be given where it's due, right? So I really like IF program. Because, like, uh, during this... Uh, during these three months, uh-huh. I could do an incredible, an incredible job with them. Mm-hmm. Incredible work, like uh, you know, those students, like beginner students, they got promoted to into like they got promoted like uh, to IF, and then uh, they didn't even have a chance in order like uh, they didn't even have chance to to study PI program. Mm-hmm. They didn't know what's writing, mm-hmm. how to do reading, mm-hmm. listening, speaking. Mm-hmm. They just went, took their exam, mm-hmm. results six and a half. Without PI. Without PI. Wow. Just with the IF program, you can get yes, six. Yes, IF program. And I've changed like the program. Uh-huh. Um, and at that time, I was teaching them IF program and, and plus PI program, but we didn't cover like 
all types of like uh, questions there, like topics. They just went, they took risk, and they ended up like getting a six and a half. Mm, which is more than enough for their university yes. admission, right? And all of them are like uh, our university students now. Oh, yeah, must be happy. Yes. Right. Yeah, they were lucky to have you at the time. Their mom. Yeah. They were the first people to call me mom. Yeah. Isn't that super awkward when someone nearly your age calls you mom? Um, <laughs> imagine, imagine me calling Miss uh, Markaba mom. <laughs> She'd be so pissed at me. So, uh, no. That, that is not funny. That was not funny at all, was it? Okay, like cameras are shooting now. Uh, what's wrong with that? Okay, you got something to say, say it. So... It was not funny, teacher. Not funny at all? No. Okay, sure. I'm sorry. So <laughs> I'll zip my mouth, my, my mouth for the rest of the interview. So basically, I was like telling about like experience, experience of being a mom. Mm -hmm. I guess like I deserved uh, like, uh, like being called mom. Mm -hmm. You can like ask all of my students. Mm -hmm. I act as their mom, literally. Whenever they have problems, like it doesn't matter like school whatever, the first thing they do, like, they come to me. Mm -hmm. And I literally take care of them. And you know what? Like, all of my students, like, um, like nowadays, they are taking more than one course. Mm -hmm. Like, they are taking, like, chemistry and uh, math classes and other classes as well in order to get into university. And, um, and they have health problems. Oh. So most of them faint, you know? This is not good. Yes, most of them faint Sleep and uh, deprivation, too much mm -hmm. exertion, mental exertion. Yes. All, all, all of these take big toll on their health, right? Yes. Or so those, all, they all were those the ones mm -hmm. you, they have with you here, they're not healthy. They're not healthy. With me? Why with me? No, you said you guys stayed up late until two o'clock in the morning. It used to be, but not now. Oh, good, good. I'm glad. I'm so relieved to hear that. Thank you. Uh huh. I was telling, yes, I was telling about, like, my students fainting, yes? Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, they faint, and, like, the first thing they do, like, they call me. Mm -hmm. Like, teacher, we're here, here, so this this, 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 this thing happened. And, uh, like, I care, like, um, my PI 23 students as well. Like, they've recently, like, taken their exam. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they as well, uh, like, in summers... I have free time, like, in order, like, uh, to work extra with them. And I devote my summers to them as well. I devoted my summer to them. I, I didn't take any holiday. I've, I, I've never been in the holiday. I've never, I haven't taken holidays. Yeah. And I was, like, staying here uh, from the early morning until night. And we were studying here. And uh, basically, we were doing everything together. Eating together, like uh, going to restaurants and uh, while well, like studying and everything together. And uh, you know what? I wish I was your student. <laughs> okay, you can be. Let's You're welcome. Yes. Uh, you know, room 204, um, second floor. Yes, I'm signing up for Ms. Parizada's class tomorrow. First thing tomorrow. And sure. then? And uh, so, do I get to have all those things like hangouts you have with your students and mm -hmm. cool jokes and stories? Of course, so I get to be part of that every single minute. Yes, I get to be part of that elite club, mm -hmm. right? Special club. Yes, uh, I don't know. I have yeah, like real, this though. kind of for, for real, real T-shirt. For, for real. Okay, then who's going to be running the school if I'm your? We'll work it out. We'll work it out, right? I only, like, you can take my classes for two hours and then go and teach. Yeah, but how about all, all the other things you do with your students hanging out? So, like, we study and, like, we yes. hang out. Uh -huh. I mean, like, not hanging out, like, uh, like dancing or something. We just go and eat, for example. Yes? And, uh, and what can I say? So... There is one thing, like, they even, like, make sure, like, I started, like, fainting after them. <laughs> I started, like, having panic attacks. Mm -hmm. um, it was here, like, oh, you, you had a podcast with, uh, with Mr. Dior Beck at that uh -huh. time. Yeah. And I, I was, like, lying here, like, basically, I, and then, like, I had a panic attack after my exam, my last exam. Mm -hmm. And uh, after I, that... I, when I saw you, 
Like, you didn't pay attention like you just went. No, I just, there were a lot of people taking care of you. I just, I needed, you need, needed space. I knew you needed space. Okay, sure. so I, I was trying to give you some space. <laughs> Thank you very when much. I, when I saw you, I just, I thought your soul left your body. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Seriously, the, I, I was worried. I was worried about you. I made sure someone called the ambulance. I ambulance sure. doesn't help. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what I mean it like basically like it's the short time like it, the thing like happens for a short time mm -hmm. and you're gonna gain your consciousness again mm -hmm. and the ambulance is gonna come mm -hmm. and uh, like they will give you some kind of and and they will give you a pill and that's mm -hmm. it like anyway like mm -hmm. and you're again it, it was not necessary okay Fine. not uh, like the we are you, are you ever not worried about it backfiring no okay. Because, uh, you know what, when, when students, because like I'm being the teacher that I've always wanted to have, that's the mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. I'm giving the love that I have mm -hmm. to them and they're returning me with mm -hmm. it. Like basically, um, there is a secret behind me being, be, being very nice to my, like towards my students. Mm -hmm. Because like, and then when, when we build like this connection, they won't make a like proud, like, they want uh, me to be proud of them, you know? And uh, by that, I don't mean that I'm not being strict teacher. No, I'm being strict. I'm being strict mom. I mean, you know, moms, they are sometimes strict. Sometimes, like, you can see, like, they will mm -hmm. burn the world for you, mm -hmm. let's say. So mm -hmm. I'm just being a mom. Yeah. I'm, like, keeping things in balance. And, like, Alicia teacher, like, literally taught me how to do it. Because in the beginning, I literally had, like, problems. Like, that students, like, they crossed the line. But then, like, after, and even after, like, watching, like, those videos. And, uh, like, I learned. And, uh, like, I have my own special technique. Let's say that, like, work great. Like, what is that technique? Um, love. Love, that's it. Only, Only love. love. Only love. Only love, like that's I, it. Like I always say on the staff Only meetings, love, on the staff no group hate. Chat. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sure. So clearly you enjoy teaching. Mm -hmm. If you were to become school manager here, how would you do things differently? I don't know, to be honest. Like, it's your job, yes. And you have to do your job perfectly. And I guess, like, it's a huge responsibility mm -hmm. uh, for you and for Alicia, teacher, like, to run the school. Mm -hmm. And uh, so far, I, like, you know, before you explaining the reason, for example, like, for grading sheets, I have never liked them. Mm -hmm. But after, like, you explained, the, like, the importance of grading sheets, um, I got to know that, Yes, we need grading sheets and like the, the work that you are doing, it's like incredible. Um, um, I have like nothing to say. Like mm -hmm. if I were a manager, I don't know, I would. I would. So you're you have you're absolutely content with everything we do here, the way we operate. Uh, yes, uh, only w I have one problem mm -hmm. with uh, with. Can you like buy more printers? I know that we have a lot of printers, mm -hmm. but uh, most of the like PI students, mm -hmm. like uh, they they must practice every day, yes, mm -hmm. in order to do reading, listening, like in order like uh, to write like uh, essays. They need answer sheets, yes, and we know that like printer guys like they cannot cope like with the amount of work they have. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I know that it's all uh, also hard for them in order like to print books, and we know that like if. Okay, let's say in one group, I'm not good at math, but you. So, like, like let's say in one group, like, there are 12 people, yes? And uh, every month, I guess, like, they need books, yes? You, you know it better than me. If you want, you can explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. Yes, and it's it's a lot of work for them. Mm -hmm. So, the thing that I would change, like, it's only, like, printing service. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, they are doing an incredible job. I'm very grateful, like, to have them mm -hmm. because... Uh, like uh, how to say uh we're scolding them mm -hmm. yes uh but like they are doing incredible job like without them like it wouldn't work so you, do you want to give the person who's responsible for it some credit okay yeah yeah printer guys the, you're the best so, printer we got only one printer guy though or two uh, three teacher three now yes no i mean i mean they different campuses, so different printer guys. You want to talk about the printer guys who work here and who deserves the most credit? 
and the mastermind behind all the print service. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Firuz, uh, yeah. know that you are the best. And uh, Mr. Islomov. R Ruslan. 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 Yes, Ruslan. I'm sorry. Right. Mr. Ruslan and uh, Mr. Firuz, like they are the best and like they are heroes. Right. And without them, like the school wouldn't work. So we call these wouldn't people run. unsung heroes. They, yes. They never get credit. Mm -hmm. We never talk about them. Sometimes they get left out of photos when we post for staff photos. Unfortunately. Photo. Yeah, right. But the thing that we can do, like we can edit them, that's it. <laughs> for example, that would be yeah. Hilarious. No, right. why? Okay, sure. You mean editing them in, in the, into, into the, photo? the photo? Yeah. Right. That'd be funny. That it, which you already did with Ms. Shahina. Yes. That party, right? Yes. Right. I just didn't want her so, like to be left out, yeah. and uh, b because of like some um, some issues, uh, she was not present there. She was not able to, like to be to be there with us, and everyone like started like posting like photos that they have taken there, mm -hmm. and then um, um, I got I got let's say it, it is I consider her as my sister. Yes. Uh, and I didn't want her like to go through it like all, like uh, alone. Mm -hmm. And at least somehow I wanted like uh, to try. I, I wanted like to to lift, to uplift her mood. That's mm -hmm. why I did it. Right. I know that I'm not a great edit editor. Mm -hmm. I mean, like we have Mister mm, Abdul Malik. Abdul Malik. And he's not the he best editor either. Okay. Why all, not? all the podcasts we've been shooting, he's been there. He's screwing up every time. There's something wrong with the audio or the or the video or the. But, but I guess but it's he's not his fault. But he's doing his best, right? Right, Mr. Abdul Malik? Are you doing your best? Yes, he is doing yeah. do, doing his best. Okay, sure. Let's give him some credit too. Yes. Yeah. And guys, let us know if you want to see our video editor on the podcast one day. Yeah. <laughs> Leave your comments in the comments. If we get uh, 60 comments saying we want to see the editor on the podcast, we might make it happen. So that's it. 60 like, comments. Guys, did you get it? Okay, I'll think about it. <laughs> Guys, did you get it? So if you're not, so everyone is going to write like in the comment sections, like we want uh, yeah. editor, that's it. We want the editor on the podcast. It's, yes. Yeah. Get you're going to do it, podcast. yes? Yeah, I, I will seriously think about it because I never seriously considered that possibility, but I'll give it a thought. Yeah. Okay, sure. Right. We, but we just got to see the audience response, audience feedback mm -hmm. to this. Right. Uh, let me let me phrase the question a little differently. What would you do if you were me for a day? I would never cut my beard. <laughs> <laughs> I never did. You did, teacher. Only a couple of times. The entire time you've been my student or uh -huh. worked here. So the first thing that I would do, mm -hmm. uh, drive a car. And uh, yes, I would drive your car. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you, you can actually do it today, right now, after the podcast. Okay, sure. Yeah, I hope there are no police officers And around. plus, I would really like to go to your house. Uh -huh. And I really want like uh, to get to know your mother. Okay, yeah. sure, sure, sure. And like your parents as well. Yeah, sure. This I is mean, the thing that I would do. I can bring them here if you want to school. But that that would not be the most genius idea because then I'd have to talk to them in Tajik and Uzbek. So that's why I could like go to your house and uh, I don't know. When I'm not there. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure, it doesn't matter. We don't yeah. need you. I'm gonna be Muhammad Ali. We're, I'm gonna be Muhammad Ali for a day. Yes. Yeah. All right. That's it. Uh, and I don't know. I would. Well, we can actually make all these things happen. Okay. Sure. Driving tick. Mm -hmm. Seeing my mom and dad. I don't know. Sure. We'll think about mm -hmm. it. Any other things you have in mind? I would steal your money. <laughs> I, steal my money. Okay. I need your bank account. <laughs> okay. Here's here's something about. Mm -hmm. This is not possible because I have nearly zero on my bank account. And people can't believe that. People cannot possibly believe that. I don't know, but, but I believe that you're For some rich. reason, people, if, if people have their Even own Even though, like, it doesn't, you don't look like you're, like, rich. Like, uh -huh. if you were, like, to go out, like, uh -huh. and walk, no one would, like notice that you're rich but i don't know i have like this kind of feeling inner feeling that you're rich i don't know why maybe because of like uh, the settings that you have here professional like microphones cameras yeah. yes exactly you only think i'm rich when i'm at school at work because that's where all the money goes 
Yeah. That's where all the money goes, honestly. Because right now, I'm literally broke. Okay, sure. Nearly broke. Uh, I would like, uh, the thing that I would do is sell the school and get the money, that's it. <laughs> and go on a long vacation yeah. and chill in the, on the beach. <laughs> right. Sure. Yes. That, yeah. You cannot let this be, let, the, let this lady be ever me. All right, guys, because you see the consequences. You're going to be out of work. That guy behind the camera is going to be out of work. You guys are all going to be out of work. You're not going to have, have a job if she ever becomes the school principal. No, they here. will have a job. What do you mm -hmm. mean? But you said you'd sell the school. I will sell the school, but not people in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Everything right. is planned. This lady is scaring me now. Now, do you have any pet peeves about the school? You kind of talk about pet peeves about teachers. I've never thought about it, to be honest. Like, uh, how to say? There there were a lot of things that I was not satisfied with. Mm -hmm. And we reported it to you. And uh, Oh, I remember those uh, late night conversations we would have. We are not supposed to... Are we supposed to talk about that or... No. No. Okay. Sure. So basically, like we had conversations with him, uh, when when I was satisfied with uh, w w when I was not satisfied with something, mm -hmm. I was unsatisfied. So basically, I used to go to him and tell it that's it. Mm -hmm. And this is what you taught me, by the way. Yeah, that's what. Basically, I appreciate. like from the start, mm -hmm. when I didn't like something, I would just go and tell him. Mm -hmm. He would take care of it. That's mm -hmm. it. I, I I'd like to think that's how things are supposed to be in the adult world, right? So adults talk, they communicate, they they sort problems, not run away from them, right? So I was I always thought to myself, if I ever become an adult when I was a kid, so I thought to myself, if I ever become an adult, I'm gonna take care of things. I'm oh. not gonna wait. I'm gonna leave them. I'm not gonna leave them to the next day. I'm not gonna wait until the end of the week. So there is one suggestion of mine. So mm. can we put like let's say tables mm. in the garden? Tables? Like, yes, I mean tables. Basically, oh. like students sitting on the bench. Uh -huh. Yes. And like in order, like mm -hmm. uh, how to say, we don't have like a lot of space mm -hmm. for them, like let, let's say in, in school, especially in summers. Yes. Mm -hmm. So like the thing that they, they can do mm -hmm. is go out there mm -hmm. and like study there. What do you think? Yeah. I, I mean, if you, if, if you put tables and uh, they, they can do like their work on the, mm -hmm. like, there in yeah. the garden. It's ingenious idea uh -huh, but except it sucks and here's why i'm sorry you, you told me i need to be honest right and here's why once we set up little tables there people are gonna think it's some kind of an outdoor cafe or a lounge and you're gonna have neighbors strangers coming in yeah as if having couples hang out in the garden wasn't they are already here all yeah. night you just don't see them that's it yeah right mm -hmm. it would just make things worse 10 times worse and i know that but like the thing is like they are sitting in other like let's say in in can you remember the lady that came mm. complaining about the yeah, yes neighborhood you have received a lot of complaints from neighbors yes. about our sure, like this is the thing that we could do i just give out. a suggestion you asked me for the suggestion and i gave it yeah. yes so plus, as, I, as I told you before, like I'm not a manager, uh -huh. he is. And he's doing his job perfectly. Uh, that, so, that, is, yeah. that is not true. That, that, we do have our shortcomings. Mm. I can't be all, you're describing it as though this place is paradise, but it's not really, okay? Right. We're just doing our best here. As for your suggestion, I'll bear that in mind, but highly likely not possible. Why? It's going to cost us a lot of money to... It's not practical because it's outside. Those tables are probably going to get stolen or they just wear out. Sure. Cold weather or when it's too hot, right? You, you, and then you're going to spend even more money for maintenance, taking care of them. So it's more of a headache than a solution to a problem. In, instead, if we want to create more space for students to come in and study do their assignment and their work, so... If you want more workstations, we just need to open another campus, which we did, by the way, right? Yes. There you go. So which, I'm telling all students, if they want a study area to study, they can go over to campus too. Campus right? too, yes. Go to right. campus too, guys.
We got nice view on the rooftop, yeah. plenty of space there. Wow, yeah. I went there in order to teach for two days. Yeah, and how did you like it, by the way? How do you like wow. campus too? Campus too. Right. Well, let's say like the settings are great there. Mm -hmm. The facilities are mm -hmm. very great. I mean, awesome, better mm -hmm. than here. Mm -hmm. But as you told yourself, like it's not a paradise. Mm -hmm. So what are some problems you spotted there? I mean, maybe it's just the beginning. Uh -huh. um, I didn't feel comfortable there, mm. like as I felt in here. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe because uh, it was the first time me teaching there. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, like everything felt differently. Mm -hmm. I know like the cam campus two teachers know it better than mm -hmm. us because they are like teaching there 24 to seven, yes. Mm -hmm. And like you, 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 you better ask them, not mm -hmm. me. Like I'm just telling you maybe because I was very comfortable in here, mm -hmm. yes. And uh, going there and teaching like felt a little bit weird, as if mm -hmm. I was not like as, as I'm not belonging there. Let's say. So outside that weird feeling sensation, mm -hmm. you notice any other problems? Like no, not problems. Like they have great facilities. They have their own staff room. Mm -hmm. Like uh, everything. Like they even have like room media room. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we got we got five six bathrooms. <laughs> but we got only three here, right? Or one for boys, two uh, for girls. Yeah. And that's being the main problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you have to do campus. something about it, yes. I really can't. Uh, the only option I have here <laughs> is to turn the boys' bathroom into a lady bathroom and have the boys go to campus to, to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 be, no, no, no. That, that would be ridiculous. And, uh, you know, when I went to campus too, I was like teaching in a small room. Mm-hmm. So, like rooms are facilitated very greatly, and I really like th the way like mirrors. Mm -hmm. Mirrors are everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like you know, if I were like uh, if if I went there mm -hmm. and I was teaching, if I were teaching there, mm -hmm. I'd be taking like uh, videos, photos of me twenty four to seven, like reflection of mm -hmm. me. And you know what? Students can uh, can cheat mm -hmm. there, like looking at the mirrors. Oh, yeah. I went there the first thing that I did. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, as I told you, I have never wanted to study. And that's why, like, I'm the best cheater. <laughs> I mean it. I, I know when students cheat, yeah. literally. And then, like, they can... You, you better make sure this part goes in the trailer. You understand? <laughs> yes, basically, yeah. like, let's say there is a uh, there is a door yes uh -huh. and i can just like sit here uh -huh. and look at like the the door uh -huh. and the door uh -huh. like in both sides uh -huh. in both sides like there are mirrors mm -hmm. the thing that i can do i can just look like straight and i can see like person like uh, what like that person is getting like mm -hmm. what kind of question he's So you can doing. see the reflection of the person yes. and what they are writing on their notebook yes. right and for this exact reason, I was telling Alicia to get those windows half covers, half, mm -hmm. with only the, especially the bathrooms. Mm -hmm. The worst part is bathrooms also have mirrors, right? And mirrors, the door. I've never the, been there. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the bathroom doors have mirrors. It's not, that's super weird. That's super awkward. Yeah, I was telling him to cover them up at least a half part mm -hmm. in classrooms as well. The original idea was actually to get to get those doors see-through windows, mm -hmm. uh, um, like see-through glass. See-through is like mm -hmm. what, you yeah, can see what's inside the yes. classroom. But I was telling Alicia, it's a terrible idea because then students are going to be able to see who's outside and people outside can see what's happening inside, mm -hmm. which is what they do in Tashkent. But I don't, I don't think it's the best idea because when people are walk, walking around, like you get distracted on what they're saying, what they're doing, right? Yeah, especially students. Or it feels super weird when you're having a class and someone from the outside is watching you, right? And I, and I, and I thought of it at the time, and I was against this idea. And he was like, no, it's going to be fine. Don't worry, I'm going to get labels. Uh, we're just going to cover the half part up. But you're still going to be able to see the other half. Mm-hmm. So, but then at the end, I convinced them to get those mirror, mirror, mirror glasses. Sure. Yeah. Anyway, right. So this, for this part of the podcast, I got one last question I want to ask you about the school. Mm -hmm. So you've had many partners over the 
years you've been working here, I don't here, like right? this question of yours, okay? You don't even know what I'm about to ask I you. I know what you're going to ask no, me. Not... Choose the partner that you like the best. Yes, this wrong. one. No, I was going to ask you, choose the partner you hate the most. <laughs> 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 right? I told you... I told you, you can't predict these questions, okay? I'm, I'm unpredictable. Sure, like you just paraphrased the question, that's uh, it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well. It's either this question or that question, so you pick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I have a great well, answer. Well, you, can actually, you can actually mention your top three picks. Top okay, three. you can ask me like whatever question you know because I have a great answer. Okay. So pick one. Well, I should pick one of these two questions. Uh, three questions, let's see. Oh, no, 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 two. One of the two, yes. One, one of the two. two. One of the two questions. Are you guys interested in knowing who which partner she likes most or which partner she likes least? I think I'd be curious to know. I, I think I know which partner you like the most. Because anyone who goes on her channel and reads her posts there can tell, okay, who, your, who her favorite partner is. I want to know who your least favorite partner is. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. So um, I've had many partners, yes. Uh-huh. And my first partner was Mr. Parviz. Mm-hmm. And then I started, like, teaching with uh, Miss... No, no, I've never thought it was Miss Gulsara. Mm-hmm. Oh, who was my partner? I cannot even remember. Like Miss Mukadima and mm-hmm. then Mr. Muhammad, mm-hmm. yes, Muhammad Shah, mm-hmm. and uh, Miss Barchin. And now I'm teaching like with Miss Shahina mm-hmm. and Miss Shahnoza and Mr. Terustam. And all of them, like, um, they have like something special in them, you know? And uh, I don't know how, but our vibes match. And that's why, like, we have great production, guys. Mm-hmm. Well, the partner that I hate the most, da, 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 like you're gonna put something here, <laughs> is partner uh, with whom I used to teach uh, my brother. It's me. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, I used to teach them uh, myself, like all all aspects, reading, grammar, like um, speaking, listening. Yes, mm-hmm. and I was teaching myself. So the partner that I hate is myself um, because. Because if I tried harder, yes, my students would get higher result. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't push myself to the limits. Um, my students ended up like getting seven, six and a half, um, but I but like you know they had potential like to get like eight mm-hmm. because the way that they were studying and uh, I mean like their ethics like it's you cannot just, find. Yeah, it's just they weren't here long enough time. Yes, it, it yes. was just a matter of time, and that's why I like blame myself as well mm-hmm. for not uh, not coming here earlier, earlier, and not helping them like earlier. Started to teach them earlier. Yeah. How would you like to have me as your teaching partner? Oh, but you never teach with other teachers. You only teach with Alicia teacher, and that's why like you already know each other. Yes, mm-hmm. and I. I you know what? And sometimes you tell that communication is the key. Communication is the key. Yes, you repeat one thing again and again. But uh, one day I, I just sat there when I when I had like problem with my partner, mm-hmm. and I thought to myself, Well, why Muhammad teacher and Alicia teacher they don't have like these kind of problems? Even if you have, like you just carry on with that. Yes. Do you, like do you want to answer to this question or should I? I think you should. Okay, sure. I want to hear your so, answer. The main reason is that. Uh, both of them, like, they were together from the start, mm-hmm. you know? And that's why, like, you know each other and you can understand each other better and you know, like, your own shortcomings, yes? And let's say um, you you understand each other, like, mentally, yes? Mm-hmm. But with us, when you, like, team up, or, like, w- 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 when you partner up us with, with like, different people, let's say, uh, well, let's say, like, you partnered me with, uh, you partnered me up with Mr. Abos, yes, but I don't know him. Mm-hmm. It, like, anyway, takes time for mm-hmm. us, like, to get to know each other uh, in order, like, uh, to, to get to know our personalities, yes? So that's why it's sometimes hard for us, for teachers, like, to communicate. Yeah, yeah. It'd be actually a lot easier for me to find your partners and the partners you want to work with 
mm-hmm. if all teachers were full time available yes. like me and Alicia, but that's not the case. So you might be available to work only in the afternoons, but uh, you, the person you want to work with may be available only in the mornings. So it's so hard y- to make it work, honestly. So that's why you must mm-hmm. uh, take into account that uh, that sometimes it's hard for us like to communicate as well because we have several partners uh-huh. and uh, we, we must get accustomed to them but, as well. But I really want to go back to your, uh, to your interjection about me never partnering up with any one of the teachers here. Mm -hmm. It's possible. We can do it. Only if you get a nine. So the day any other one of the teachers gets overall nine, so I'm going to go to them or we're going to go to them with a program launch offer. So we're launching. So we can have an AP program or MP program or PM program. Mm, PM program. (laughs) Yeah. Sure. Right. Yeah, we'll see. Just gotta get a nine. Just gotta get a nine. Mm, well, that's easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd love that because honestly, myself, I, everything okay? Okay, but still, can I keep going? Right. Honestly, myself, though, I'm a little sick, tar- sick and tired of working, teaching with Alicia the entire time. Yeah. I want a break from this guy. Yeah, it's like having the same. I guess like he wants break from, from you. Yeah. Maybe we want a break from each other, right? Yeah, and we would love that. We'd love that. We want to see what it's like working with other people. Now, I want to talk a little about your side projects. You've been involved in a lot of volunteering work, right? Yeah. Different projects, right? I you, Before this podcast, your YouTube oh, channel. My YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah I, I'm going to start. I really start want to talk about mm-hmm. that. <laughs> sure. So why did you want to start that channel? And that channel, you only shot three or four videos, and that was it. Three podcasts. I can I tell you something? Your videos, your podcasts, feel like have your episodes have more character and substance meaning than these podcasts. Exactly, because yeah. I I do love watching them. Maybe just because you guys happen to work here, and I want to know about you. But I'm a big fan, and it was so sad to hear that you weren't gonna make make those videos anymore. You know why? Because I asked everyone to come. I invited everyone to come, but all of them said no. No, why? That was the main reason. Maybe because like they were shy, shy of cameras. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, but but no one came. Mm-hmm. So now let me tell you the story behind this uh, <laughs> this uh, this uh, other other Rachel inspired mm-hmm. um, podcast. So this, this name is Rise and Shine. Mm-hmm. We were doing a university assignment. Basically, our teacher asked us like uh, to shoot a video and uh, like have an interview, like create a morning, mm-hmm. uh, create a morning, um, uh, cre- create a morning program. Yes, it should be interesting. And I and we had to and we had to talk like uh, to important people, let's say, and um, and the first one, and the, for, and the first video. I, I, I shoot a podcast, I, I mean, I had an interview with uh, Mr. Parviz, my first partner, mm-hmm. and at that time, like, we didn't have, like, microphones, and I just, like, hold the video, like, uh, I, I just, I was just taking video of him. Mm-hmm. Um, but the quality, like, uh, the sound quality was awful, yes, and uh, I couldn't post it. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then like I had to have an interview with you. It was like eight minute, a uh, ten minute lo- long video. Actually, it was for my university, and that's why I didn't care much about it. <laughs> but then, yeah. Oh my god! And that one actually went super viral. Yes. The one you had with me, it got ten yes. k views. Because at that time you got nine. That's why. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically, it was for my university, mm-hmm. and. You know what, Mr. Zikrilo, the one, like, uh, you asked, like, you arranged everyone, like, you, you, you arranged, like, the podcast, like, so, let's say the interview, you, like, brought your microphones, like, you asked, like, Mr. Zikrilo, like, one of our teachers, like, to take a video, mm-hmm. and you know what, like, he didn't even, like, ask me, on, or he didn't even warn me, like, to, <laughs> to do something with my hair. I guess my hair looks good. You no. Because on that one, mm-hmm. I was looking horribly, you know, and it was for my university, so that's why I didn't like care much because the only like people who are gonna see it like were my were my classmates and my teacher. Mm-hmm. That's it. And then I caught a cold, yes. And then you made me 
to post it like you told me like that's it it's gonna go like to youtube that's it on youtube you're gonna post it it's gonna be your podcast and then i had to obey you i was like okay sure let it be and then like uh we announced it I caught a cold. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why, like, we had to delay, uh, like, uh, the episode, like, being uh, being posted. But I can remember, I was dying, guys. I had like 40 degrees temperature, and when I asked him, "Can I reschedule my class?" he said, "Okay, yes." And then when when I went home, yes, he texted me, "When the podcast, uh, w- when you're when you're gonna release the podcast?" You know what he said? People are waiting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cuz because they were you made an they official were. announcement saying mm-hmm. that the podcast would come out this day and mm-hmm. you got to keep the promise, right? Yes. Keep. And that night like I haven't slept and I was like how to say and uh, and and that night I haven't slept because it hurt me. I was like, "Wow, why is he telling me like to finish the podcast and why he's thinking about other people but not about me?" I yes. Probably I didn't know but you then, were sick that day. You said you got you, you caught cold, right? Yes, and I rescheduled my class. But then I got to know that, well, well, well but, but but after getting to know that, well, about his podcast, after when he's like start, started like shooting podcast, mm-hmm. I got to know like that it's very serious, mm-hmm. that people are waiting, I, and I didn't know that like it caught like so much attention. That's mm-hmm. the, that's the thing I've never thought about it mm-hmm. because it was like just I was just asking questions and that's it, mm-hmm. nothing more. Mm-hmm. And then um, I didn't believe my eyes when, like, when I saw like that the interview. Mm-hmm. Even though like the quality was bad, yes, mm-hmm. it, it like uh, like one thousand, like oh, ten ten thousand people watched. I was like shocked. Mm-hmm. And then I decided to have an inter- interview with Marhabo teacher, and it mm-hmm. was like cool as well. Mm-hmm. Her student, like Miss Guli, like offered me. She was like, "So let's go." Like I want my teachers. Like, uh, like she was like, "I want my teachers." Like I want like people to get to know about my teachers. I was like, "Okay, sure." She arranged everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just came into there and I like started asking questions. The same with Miss Shahina. So uh, uh, basically, Miss Guli, like uh, she did everything. I just went there and I started mm-hmm. asking questions. That's it. Uh, that that one was fun. I loved. Yes. I, I loved watching that one. It was it was real fun seeing you uh, play, interact. There's the chemistry. It, mm-hmm. it was all good. Yes. Not good. Incredible. I loved it. You uh, sharing, sharing. Uh, you had orange, I guess. You guys were having orange. Yeah. <laughs> yeah those tiny oranges. Entrance. Yeah. Did you bring me any? Teacher, you're very rich to buy it yourself. Or if you want, like, we can go, like, to the shop or market and we can buy it there if he wants, yes. Yeah. Uh, guys. Can, can you just you, get over the fact that... Sure. So can we, not, not the best idea to talk about it, to mm-hmm. bring it up every time. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, wh- next time she'll, she's bringing me some oranges, right? Some orange, some tangerine, and mm-hmm. some, some fruit. But so. you never receive gifts. Mm-hmm. You never no, receive I've gifts. I've changed. I love gifts mm-hmm. now. Are you really? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. so the next Cause time because I because because I, I realized so I I used to be bad at receiving gifts. Then I thought to myself, okay, when I'm giving someone a gift, I expect them to accept it. Yes. Right? And why I don't do the same? Why the why the double standards? Um, so so I mm-hmm. so next time someone offers me a gift, I'll gladly accept it because so, turning them mm-hmm. turning them down would probably make them really sad. And I don't want that. The same thing happened with us as well. Basically, like on Teacher's Day, yes, or, or on your birthdays, we used to come and like we used to congratulate you, yes. But you always like refused it, you know. Mm-hmm. You were like, yes. no, I don't need it. That's it. Mm-hmm. You just used to get into your room or like anyway, like you you would you would never get it. And once like I was so hurt that I went to my mom and I was like, Mom, why my teacher never receives uh, gifts? Mm-hmm. And like she explained me the reason, and then I was like, well. And what, 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 did, what, what did she um, say? What did she say? Basically, like, uh, she said that, well, your teacher, like, she, he doesn't want you guys, like, to bring, uh, like, to, to spend your money, yes. And he, he doesn't want you guys, um, how, to, how to explain it, to spend your, uh, to, to spend, like, your time. Mm-hmm. And you just, you just must give, like, uh, results, that's it. Yeah. He doesn't want anything from you. Except your results. Yes, that's it. Yeah. And she explained, and I was like, okay, so eight, 
I'm going to bring you eight. Like, yeah. 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 That and and nice some thing. tangerines because I really want to have okay, those sure. tangerines because I'm jealous, still jealous. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, I got a little jealous when you guys shot that podcast. You, when you shot that podcast with Miss mm-hmm. Shahina and you guys uh, uh, playing Shahina. on screen. Miss Shahina, what did yeah. I say? You said Miss Zarina. Miss, oh. yeah. So bad at names. Yes. Bad with names. Right. Uh, never mind. Can we get back to the thing we were talking about, your yes, podcast? About podcast? Yeah. Are you going to be making more of those podcasts? Um, because I started another, uh, like, let's say, project, mm. yes. And I started, like, my guiding classes. So that's why I didn't have, like, time. Um, but I guess I will start them again. But this mm. time I will change the process. I mean, like, I... it Okay, let it, let it, let it keep secret. It's going to be secret. I love mm. secrets. So I love surprises. Yeah, it's not gonna be a podcast, as you can see, guys. I started the podcast, and then mm-hmm. Muhammad the teacher started, and like he mm-hmm. overtook it. So mm-hmm. that's why, like, I want to add like something that uh, th- that will explain. I mean, I don't know how to say it. So, so that's why that will ex- express me, mm-hmm. yeah. like a wow. personal vlog. Yes, I'd love to see that. No, like you, maybe uh, we'll see. We'll see. A day in the life of other Rachel. Or a day in the life of an Ad Astra teacher, a day in the life of a tour guide. A uh, we're going to combine everything then. Yeah, a day in the life of university student. Mm-hmm. I'd love to see those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, all you need is just a camera. And you can borrow one of our phones if you need one. A phone, not phone. cameras. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. I mean, this is... Like, I have friends who have iPhone 16, so they, they I can borrow their phones. That's yeah. it. Yeah, sure. There you go. Problem solved. Mm-hmm. But not... One of these professional cameras, though. They yeah, I'm not gonna touch them. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared. Like but something we, happens, that's it. I'm gone. No, no. I, I, it's just we we shoot these podcasts very frequently, right? Like mm-hmm. every week. And if one of these cameras is not working, then we need to do repair work, and we don't know how long that takes, and the podcast gets rescheduled, which yeah. is. Which then affects the content frequency, our stats on YouTube. So mm-hmm. we're just trying to be consistent here, right? Uh, we don't want any m- sur- surprises with these cameras, right? So that means w- you guys can expect some video content from Miss Parizoda. Miss Parizoda, right? Yes. Finally, 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 right? YouTube, you're gonna be making video content, right? Yeah, is we'll it the same channel or you want to create another channel? I know. I, I, I think would I like should use the same channel. Ch- same channel, yes. Great. Yep. Yep. And if you need any kind of promo or whatever, I'm there. I can actually make a cameo in your videos. I love making cameos. You guys ever see me making cameos and cake videos? We should totally do that. That'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Sure. Right. Okay. Right. I. Oh, you, you want to talk about your personal interests as well what do you do when you're not teaching or guiding people or doing all those other things yeah you got any personal interests um um, outside teaching outside do you like watching movies or listen to podcasts read books uh, well, I like drawing, mm-hmm. and then and uh, I like like reading books mm-hmm. uh, because my mom is a psychologist. Yes, and we have like our our own library. Mm-hmm. Basically, every time my mom when she, when she goes somewhere, mm-hmm. every time uh, like she comes like with a book. Mm-hmm. Yes, and uh, till this time, like I have never wanted like to read book, but once like she told me, well, read this book and you are gonna get something in return. Mm-hmm. And um, and once uh, my first my my first book it was like Harry Potter series, I read all of them, mm-hmm. and after that like my love like for reading like uh, like 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 it created my my, my li- li- lifelong love for for reading, and after that like I started like reading books about like novels. Uh, in in English, of course, and like psychology books. Basically, I read like uh, psychology books, and then I translate it to my mother. Mm-hmm. Yes, so like uh, she can use them in her trainings. Mm-hmm. Yes, well, right. So, what's one book you're reading right now? Um, well, right now I'm not reading because I'm I'm studying history. Yes, that's why. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, the last book that I was reading, it was about the importance of sleep, like mm-hmm. why we sleep. 
Uh, I had like problems with, with with sleeping. I mean, I had insomnia like several nights. Uh, basically, I never slept. That's why. And then my mom recommended me this book. She was like, let's go with this book. And yeah, I was reading it. So you said you read the entire Harry Potter series, right? Yes. Right. And, and the recent book you read is on, on sleep, the importance of sleep mm -hmm. and how sleep deprivation causes a bunch of problems, mm -hmm. health conditions, right? Yes. Yeah, I can absolutely confirm that. Uh, a lot of people can, right? When you're sleep deprived, it feels, how does that feel? Not good. Not good. Like you always want to sleep, uh -huh. yes. And uh, especially like after 12 o'clock, that's mm. it. Your energy, like uh, it goes down. Mm. And uh, like even though like you, your eyes are open, your mind is sleeping, like something yeah, like that. That's right. Not to mention, this is my worst part. This is the part that I hate the most. Not to mention the next day you your thoughts are all over the place and you feel so discombobulated. Yes. And can't really put words together and give coherent speech. Right. Yes. And that kind of gets you anxious and think that you're losing your edge or something, but in fact you're just not getting enough sleep. This is right. what's happening right now, guys. Please don't judge me. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, you know, you're being oh, fantastic. You're being amazing. Don't worry about that. Okay. You you do any sports? Um, Have you been involved in sports? I was, but mm -hmm. not now. Mm -hmm. I used to do gymnastics, and uh, yeah, I used to do gymnastics. And uh, like recently, um, we start. I, I started like uh, hitting the gym with my mom. Wow. Yeah. Uh, where are you going? Um, like the, the women's gym. Uh, okay, so yeah. there's a ladies' gym yes. in the city. Of course, there are a lot. There's, oh, there's many. Mm -hmm. Okay, I heard Alicia's mom also going to the gym. Right? Are you guys? Do they do you go to the same? Do you guys go to the no, same? I, I said gym? that I was going. Yes, I uh, used to go. Uh -huh. I'm not As doing in the it past, now. Yes, yes. not doing it anymore. I see. Yeah, be, uh, because I didn't. I I couldn't make. I couldn't find time for it. That's mm -hmm. why we just stopped for now. Yeah. Yeah, but you're planning on getting back to. Workout. Uh, we will training. see. Like maybe after graduating the university, mm -hmm. maybe. No, I would see. not wait that long. Okay, because you're you're a sophomore, right? You want to wait two years to start hitting the gym. These two years, you can build incredible. You can get an incredible condition. Yeah. Right. Even if you're there only for like thirty minutes, the. The, pay, the 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 payoff is worth it. It's gonna it's gonna pay off. But I'm doing a lot of work uh, walking. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, that, I I, I right walk too. like for twenty thousand mm -hmm. like steps. Like I, I make like I take like twenty thousand or plus steps mm -hmm. every day. So that's why I guess it's enough for now. Yeah, yeah right. But you see, the, the thing about going to the gym is you get to train your entire body, yes. especially your joints. Right, when you're walking, you're not really using your elbow much or your shoulders. Right, and you really need that sort of gym setup environment to uh, get overall whole body workout. At least that's what they call it. Yeah, I am. I I am a regular gym goer, but I haven't really been intensively training lately because of my back injury. Yes. I talked about it a lot on the podcast before, and my trainer tells me we can soon start lifting heavy again, but I don't think that's the best idea. You know, it's not the best idea to start lifting again. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. The other the other day when water was out, I had to mm -hmm. carry five liter bottles from the store next mm -hmm. door, right? And I carried the four of those with my two arms. And the next day I wake up, I there I feel pain. I feel weak. My back hurts. That pain is back. But then I went to the gym. I did some rehab exercise with my trainer again. It was gone, thankfully. Yeah. Anyway, I'll take it easy on heavy lifting. I wanted to ask a question, but I won't. Sure, you should. I think you should. I think so, you should. So, uh, your doctor said that it's not allowed. Like, mm -hmm. it's not allowed to train. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, he did not say that. He he did actually encouraged me to do that sort of training. 
Mm -hmm. I'm on recovery training. There are different types of training. There is, uh, there is cardio for cardiovascular health. There is a powerlifting that's for strength, right? And they have all sorts of different training. And the kind of training I'm doing is recovery training. I hope that it's recovery training. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Most of the, like many things that you can see like on social media, on the internet, is mm -hmm. not true. If it makes you feel any better, I'm not doing any of those things. I'm just doing what my trainer, Mr. Vadim, tells me to do. Yeah, professional one. He's a professional. He, yeah. the, the guy knows what no, he's no, doing I'm in the gym. Telling you. Yeah, the guy knows what he's doing. All right. All I have to do is to tell him that my back pain is back, and he instantly, like a wizard, like a magician, makes it disappear. Yeah. With, with just a few moves, by getting me to do just a few moves. But he doesn't literally do anything with this. And he's just sitting there and watching me, lazy guy. <laughs> I hope he doesn't see this part. Cut it. No, keep it. He has started, like, uh, he has started taking classes. He has in campus, yeah, too. Yeah, right. Uh, would you like to teach him one day? Of course, why not? He's it an amazing student. You can, you can ask Ms. Shahnazas. The, mm -hmm. the, she's getting taught by two Shahnazas, right? Ms. Shahnaza yes. and Ms. Shahnaza. Uh, and they both tell me he's incredible. Well, they're like... Yeah. I mean, he, he's been with me for two years now, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. He, he may not have the best English, but he's confident when he speaks it. Yeah. Anyway, all right, we're about to wrap up this podcast, and before we do, there's this uh, this the final in the final portion of the podcast we talk a little philosophy, right, to finish things off on a bit of a philosophical note. Would you like to talk a little about your personal philosophy on life as well? So. So there are a lot of things that I can tell right, right now. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing is um, for you guys to find people who are going to be there for you, like who will always support you, yes, on your like worst days of yours. Uh, I mean, like, I, it doesn't matter whether that person is uh, older than you, younger than you. Like, if you see like someone, uh, like, if, if you see someone who who will never like who, who never lets you down let's say or who always like um uh who who who, who like shows up for you who shows up for you and like uh even though knowing your your shortcomings yes they are with you then you must you must never ever let that person down mm -hmm. because these are the people like who are going to be there with you forever that's it so find true friends genuine yes. friends that's your advice and plus listen to your mom all the time <laughs> listen to <laughs> yeah. your mom i like that L listen to your mom because like your mom knows like what's the best for you uh, no. Okay, like, I mean, like, so lazy people, like, it's me. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. right, 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 right. It's somewhat of an overgeneralization when you say mom, mom knows everything. No, but she does. She does. She, she, does. she, she feels it. She senses it. Yes. Even if she doesn't have the knowledge, which she doesn't need, mm -hmm. she just knows it. Yeah. But we don't know how. You talked about true friends, genuine friends. Do you have those friends? Yes, I have. Let me guess. Uh, are those friends here? Yes, they are here. Under this roof? Under the surf. Okay. I'm just at peace hearing that. I am at peace hearing that you feel like you are where you belong with the All people. All of them are older than me, and that's mm -hmm. why I guess I'm very lucky. Mm -hmm. Just like they get me, like, you know. Uh -huh. Right. It's, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's one piece of advice you would give your younger self? Oh, younger self. So... <laughs> So, never ever, like, uh, let anyone hurt you. Never ever let anyone hurt you and always be confident. Because I, I was not confident, yes, and that's why I lost many, and, and, and that's why I lost many opportunities. I mean, like, I had many opportunities, but, but because I was not confident, I just... I, I couldn't catch them, yes? Mm -hmm. So that's why. Be confident and uh, know that Ra Rachel, little Parizoda, 
you have made it. Like you have made it so far. You know what? I I, I recently like I create I I created a channel in one of your classes, and uh, it, it was Alicia teacher's class, uh, like reading class. And then I created a channel where I started like uh, posting like no, uh, po posting messages, and like it was a private one. I was only there. And then I found the message where <laughs> I've written well. It, it was message for you, to like uh, <laughs> to you, um, Muhammad Ali teacher. I will show you that I deserve, uh, I, I deserve like to be part of like your team, and I will show the, the world like who is Rachel. Yeah, so I, I I guess I made it, but I know like I have like a lot of stuff to do like still, but but be confident. That's it. Even if like the world. Uh, the world like uh, doesn't believe in you. Believe in yourself. That's it. Yeah. I had a lot of stuff to say, but this confidence, is confidence, confidence is the key. Yeah. Just start taking risks. That's it. I'm a I'm a risk taker, mm -hmm. and I guess like this is the main reason why why I I have achieved a lot of stuff. Like you didn't mention. Unfortunately, I completely agree. Mm -hmm. Confidence is so important. Yes, so important. Confidence, confidence. And to all those kids who are afraid to take risks, if you're not taking those risks now, you're not going to be able to take them later. Yes. You're going to regret about it, guys. Yeah, because when you're young, you got all these people supporting you your mom, dad, your friends, your teachers, right? So it's all impossible to fail. Yeah, but th this does not mean you go around uh, fooling around and doing a bunch of silly things, dumb things, right? Don't get in trouble. Because <laughs> some kids here might take this message wrong, right? You got to listen to your mom and be confident at the same time. Yeah, right. Assume this podcast is being watched by your future self, your 27-year-old self wanting to reflect on your life on the past decade. So what's something you would say to her right now? You, you can actually talk to her, literally. So um, on this podcast, you wouldn't like to mention a lot of stuff, but I hope like that Muhammad Ali teacher will invite you like uh, like several times and you're going to be able like to share your story. And uh, I hope that that Rachel, um, uh, that Rachel is already successful, yes, but but she never gave up, and she's living the life that she has already dreamt, uh, she's always dreamt of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I hope that I'm gonna be, uh, and I, I hope that I will achieve like all the dreams that I have. I'm not gonna be like just a guide, I'm not gonna be just a teacher, I'm gonna be more than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, uh, I hope Miss Rachel, 27-year-old Miss Rachel right now watching, and by then you will have achieved all the goals you've set yourself. Yes. Miss Parizada, I can't thank you enough for coming on the show today. It means a lot to me, and it felt so special and warm, reflecting on our past and the times we spent together. And uh, Yeah. I, I I honestly owe you two a lot for being a part of this team and helping us build all the all these things, right? Can I end this podcast with my lines? A absolutely, yes, please, yes. Final remarks by Miss Parizada. So uh, I had a lot of stuff to tell, but not now. Uh -huh. So uh, I guess like you guys are gonna go easy on me mm -hmm. uh, because it's my first time and I had a long day today. But I hope that you are gonna enjoy like this podcast. So don't forget to hit subscribe, smash the like button, and share it with your friends. Thank you very much for watching. All right, guys. Peace.